My life is about my parents for some reason. I do a lot of things for them. I try to enjoy my parents and learn as much as I can. And my life is kind of about being a good daughter. And that's what I do. I work and I'll be a good daughter. <laughs> This is our normal. I see her all the time, we talk every day. I'm not saying it's right, but this is our life, so I just try to live accordingly and not go crazy. Sharonda was convicted as a First time nonviolent drug offender based primarily on co conspirator testimony. There were no drugs found on Sharonda, no evidence of any drug buys, no type of surveillance on Sharonda. However, she was still convicted based solely on the testimony of these co conspirators. It has been devastating on her daughter. When Sharonda went to prison, her daughter was only eight years old. She was a child, she knew her mother was in prison and that she would be gone for a long time. But the harsh reality set in the older Clinicia got that her mother was never coming home. She's the sunshine of my life. She's such a good person. And she's stuck in this place where she doesn't belong. And it's really hard being a part of this because it's not just her, it's us, I'm a part of this. Every day, I come across a new obstacle being 24 where I feel like other people can just call their mom and get that easy access help where I'm having like a really hard time figuring it out. So I do feel like I'm in prison because everything has a limit. And I feel like if I want to move to Canada, I'm going to leave you. So half the things that she can do, I can't really do either. I can't leave her. I wouldn't leave her. I can't even have a baby if I was in love because I don't want to bring my baby in this prison and have to explain this or go through a birth without my mother. Like, that's crazy to me. I wouldn't do it. I would wait until the end of time. That faith that she has is very contagious and there's no way I can doubt that the president will grant Sharonda's pending clemency petition. I have to believe that he will with conviction in my heart because without President Obama, Sharonda Jones will die in federal prison. Every now and then you'll get a call like, oh, we heard they're gonna start doing clemency releases during that time, I feel like, oh, I gotta get my house together, I gotta make sure I got money, because this person is gonna rely on you for a little bit. It's just like a little stressful. I just wanna be everything she needs me to be so we can move on with our life. Well, she gave me this, my 24th birthday. It's a butterfly, and it says, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. Mm -hmm.